zuallererst, ein auch ein deutsches Wort noch, für alle, die vorher gehört, <lacht> äh, für alle, die Englisch nicht so versiert sind, Mimi und ich sind noch länger da, sind froh, wenn wir die Rede auch übersetzen dürfen. Also keine Sorge, Oma, Opa. Ein <lacht> paar Minuten später gibt es es auf Deutsch. Die Ambassador Briggs, Professor Martens, Professor Puxbaum, Professor Leubel, Professor Schaaf. Dear members of faculty and administration, dear parents, family and friends, dear fellow graduate Etia Tens, dear viewers around the world watching the live Facebook broadcast. <laughs> It is an honor to be speaking on behalf of the graduating class of 2018 and to be closing today's ceremony. Thank you for finding your way to the Diplomatic Academy on this beautiful work day to celebrate the special occasion with us. We are about to enter or re-enter the world of work and two colorful years at the Diplomatic Academy and Technical University are coming to an end. As you may have noticed today, our year is an exception. We are not as international as other years before us. Most of us are German speaking and had many friends in Vienna beforehand. So, it is even more impressive that despite having no need to meet new people, our group was interested in getting to know each other. We started this challenging master's program as 20 strangers. Well, not all of us. <laughs> Nikki and Sarah had met a few days before, <laughs> and also Julia and Lucas enjoyed one or two shared classes before it. These 20 almost strangers became a single unit. This year, we were especially drawn together, preparing on weekends for our Monday exams and spending every day in class together. These long days were made bearable by Professor Puxbaum's coffee machine. Thank you. <laughs> in class, every birthday was celebrated together with afternoon coffee and there was always someone who remembered to bring homemade cake for all to share. Our team spirit grew. Well, to be very fair, uh, we could not show our team spirit uh, at every occasion. For example, when it came to the weekly exams on every Monday, our team spirit, just like the number of people, got reduced. And this is probably the best point to thank our administration from the Technical University, uh, especially for your patience. Uh, we really appreciate it, and yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, thank you, Jenny, and your, the whole administration from the Diplomatic Academy. Um, it was not too easy. We had 22 exams in less than half a year, but still we managed to past them and today we are here to celebrate. This is not just a milestone um, as, our, as a group, but it's also a milestone for every single one of us. Um, we have not only accomplished uh, great things when it came to university, but also besides hand. It was, there were professional achievements, like for example Svetlana, you did this program while having a major position in a big company, which is a great success. And also, Evelyn should be pointed out at this point, who received her PhD earlier this year, which is amazing. So, congratulations <laughs> for that. Also at the DA, we continued our active and diverse commitments. David, Valerie and Julia headed the sports committee, organizing football tournaments and unforgettable ski trips. Anska, Valerie, Tini and Yussi founded a new society, the Sustainability Committee, which is still growing after two years, building flower beds and leasing refurbished old bicycles. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, Julia, Valerie and Bibi 
headed Etia Talks and organized two great events on natural disaster prevention and waste in space. <laughs> Nikki led the bar committee, which, as you can imagine, <laughs> which, as you can imagine, is one of the most important jobs at a university. <laughs> um, Nigel, you almost single-handedly uh, headed and also run the. Polemics, our student newspaper, which was a great job of your side. <laughs> Thank you also, Bibi, Tabea, and Clara, um, for singing at the DA choir at all the events, especially the Christmas extravaganza. <laughs> Um, also, Steffi, Lukas, Mimi, Julia, Valerie, and Ansgar need to be named as our debutants for the annual DA Ball. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, our three most important people probably are our course speakers, Mimi, Bibi, and Julia. Thank you very much for all that. <laughs> So we Aetius are grateful to have been part of the DA community for two years and are confident that my COG and Aetia will become ever more connected. Core to the DA experience is the close interaction between all students, professors and the administration. Bringing the TU culture to the DA enriches university life and the span of extracurricular activities, notably also with non-diplomatic skills. We leave this chapter with many new experiences and lessons for life. We have learned a lot about each other, what friendship means, supporting each other in tough situations. We also have seen what the diplomatic approach may achieve in certain difficulties. As we disperse around the world to new opportunities, we hope the memory of our time at the DA and the TU will accompany all of us. It's quite funny that it's the two of us standing out here holding this speech, uh, especially after hearing that we have four really outstanding students in our group. Um, so, but also, I mean, we are fine, but not as handsome, for example, as Nikki. He could be here as well. Um, nevertheless, since we are already here, we want to share some words of wisdom with you. Um, it was December 2016, and I, as most of us, but not everyone, as we already heard, uh, was studying for the international law exam with Professor Leubel. And as in all preparation phases, one dear friend was there with me, procrastination. <laughs> <laughs> While spending time with him scrolling through funny memes and cat videos, uh, I was looking for my motivation and read the probably most encouraging words that really changed my life. You can't use a rope to push a car uphill. <laughs> As someone coming from Fallberg, these words are not wor world changing to me. <laughs> but they actually convey a profound idea. Because when life gets tough, just take a minute, then pause, Untie the rope, take it, walk around the car, tie it to the front, and pull at your ten. Pull that car up that hill. Pull through diversity, pr pull through adversity, pull through rejection, pull past your greatest fears, pull in everything life has to offer, and pull pork sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, seriously, it, it, won't, it, it will not be easy, but go to the front of that car and pull yourself uh, through every open door. When li life knocks you down, pull yourself up. And for the cases when you might lack the power to do so yourself, make sure that you're surrounded by the people you love and that have the ability to do so for you. This is the moment where we want to 
thank our family, our closest friends, especially our parents. And yeah, without your emotional and also financial support, <laughs> none of us would be here today. So thank you very much. And it's time to celebrate now.